Circadian rhythm describes any process that has a periodicity of about 24 hours, about the length of a day. Circadian comes from the Latin circa, approximately, dn, daily, so approximately daily. And so in biology in particular, we talk about um, circadian rhythms that are driven by an internal timer, or an internal clock that drives 24 hour rhythms in sleep wake cycles and other behaviors, and hormones. And we're still uh, trying to understand in more detail how that works and which processes are regulated by circadian rhythms and, and, and why that's important. When I started working in this field 20 years ago, we suspected that circadian rhythm might be important for human health, but that was really not proven. There was a lot of evidence that people who do shift work had increased health risks, but there really was not well accepted that circadian rhythm even controlled um, physiology. Now it's really clear that circadian rhythm is important for human health, and that seems to be because circadian rhythms regulate all kinds of aspects of physiology. So there's a lot of evidence for circadian regulation of metabolism, circadian regulation of immune system function, and we're just understanding more and more, you know, the details of how many different aspects of physiology are regulated by circadian rhythms and the mechanisms by which that occurs. When circadian rhythms are disrupted, all of the evidence points to increased risks of metabolic disease, increased risks of several different types of cancer, increased risks of neurodegenerative disease, cardiovascular disease, other disease processes. But the difficulty is that because of this huge heterogeneity in human populations, you have to correct for lifestyle factors, diet, you know, smoking habits, all the different things that might also contribute to those diseases. By understanding the molecular link, we can get more insight into how circadian disruption influences disease processes, and that might help us to alter either working environments or policies that can mitigate the effects of circadian disruption. And second of all, um, it's important because um, it might help us design, for example, drugs that can target specific processes within circadian rhythms that could mitigate the detrimental impacts of shift work or, or otherwise be used to treat diseases that are impacted by circadian disruption.